Hi, welcome to PT Dan's videos. Today we're going to be talking about the reasons why you should not stretch a muscle just before you're contracting. Because I hear a lot of it in the gyms. People saying, stretch your muscles, stretch your muscles, get a good stretch before you press. Don't do it. And here's the simple reason why. Picture this is your muscle. Your muscle is attached to two bones via tendons. So here's two tendons. The muscle is attached to tendons, the tendons are attached to bones. So when you stretch, the two bones lengthen. Right? So when you stretch, the two bones lengthen. The bones pull on the tendons, the tendons pull on the muscle tissue. Smack bang in the middle of the muscle tissue, you'll find what we call a muscle spindle. Now this is a, a nerve center, right? So inside there you have nerves that attach to your brain. So what happens is when this muscle stretches, so when these two bones lengthen and this muscle stretches, inside here, the nerve is aware that that muscle stretches and sends a reflex action to your brain, which sends another message back saying, contract. Now this is really good for a lot of sports. So just say you're a boxer for example. When you're boxing, you go in shoulder first because what that does is it stretches the anterior head of your delt, which means you're allowed, you can then you know, punch faster, it, you're more explosive. Tennis players, right? Tennis players can rotate shoulder first, it stretches the anterior head of the delt which allows them to um, you know, go through the forearm and the back arm more, more efficiently with more power. Um, so if you have a sport where you just have body weight, then you can use this stretch reflex action to produce more force. The question is this, what happens when you put a weight load on that? What happens if you try and get the stretch reflex action happening to produce more force, but you put a massive weight load on the muscle? Right? This is what happens. What happens is when this muscle stretches, so the two bones lengthen, the tendon is now being pulled in this direction, right? It's being pulled away. And now this muscle contracts under massive weight load, it contracts inward, pulling towards each other. That means that this tendon is now being pulled in two different directions at the same time. And what that means is that you've got a very high chance of that tendon just ripping off the bone. Uh, easy, the best case scenario, you're going to have a partial tear, such as uh, tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, etc. You might get a strained tendon. Now the problem is your tendons don't have a bloodstream, which means it's going to take a long time to recover. You have to manually ice it yourself to stimulate blood flow to that area. Um, so if you tear a tendon, you're in big trouble. Worst case scenario, it'll rip straight off the bone. And that's uh, obviously something that you don't want to happen. So when people say that you want to get a good stretch before you contract, think again.